course data science platform for even the machine learning students where you can easily work on data analysis visualizations uh, your plottings statistics and many more right so like um, for ai ml students like when you are working with the data sets you need to go through those things okay All right. So you need to install, but by the way, when it comes to your Anaconda, it is by default installed over there, right? So you need not to work with this again. So we'll see, import this with me, and we'll see which version we are using. And we have, I think, 1.0.2, or 1.3. Okay. Fine. Separated. Now, so in pandas, there comes guys two things as called as a data structures. Okay, and there are some prerequisites when you are learning pandas. Some prerequisites are needed, like uh, you need to learn numpy for your numerical calculations you need to have a bit knowledge on matplotlib i guess you have if not then i will upload the video you will get it okay okay so matplotlib and numpy is needed over there right now pandas so this has got some data structures uh, where we will be learning the 1d data and 2d data that is your series and your data frames right so the very first thing comes as series okay or to say the data structures so the very first i call as series which would be one dimension this and the next would be data frame a very simple thing to learn okay this would be two dimension that's it we only need to learn this and it will be easy for you to understand things further all right okay now so series with the help of series you can create you can manipulate you can query you can delete up the elements inside a series and you can create it with less tuples you can uh, sorry not the tuples um, the arrays numpy arrays dictionaries a lot of things okay so let's create it and let me show you what all the, the directives of the functions you are going to use in the pandas like this and let me print it So all these functions are there, okay, inside one function there are a lot of functions. Now here you can find that this is a very less, less thing, right, but there, there are some words which have a lot of more inside functions even. Like if I say uh, there are a lot of things inside a series, in, inside data frames, right, so if I show you the actual functions of your series or the data frame so it would be pd dot series so all these functions are there inside the series and you can see like how much it is apart from this all there are all these okay introduction to pandas okay. yeah so uh, we just discussed that this is an open source ds or aiml platform where you can easily work on your analysis on your data you can have visualizations you can plot your data you can work on statistic parts and much more you can go with the things right so that is and you have some data structures like uh, 1d and 2d and 3d are also there that are called as panels we are not going to deal with the panels we will be dealing with series and the data frames in the two days and next we'll be going through the seaborn for understanding your plottings and next after that we'll be heading about the projects and all to complete the things so
Okay, so this is your pandas, right? Uh, well, let's go ahead. We'll be understanding things very clearly. Okay, the versions we look on which version we are using. So it was 1.1.3. Okay, structures we have discussed with it. Uh, I guess you have understood what exactly it is. Okay, so like arrays, you have to make the things and easily it goes. Right? So in series, we can create, manipulate queries and deletes, or that is what I said, right? So let's create series. Let's uh, see how you are going to create some series. So series creation will be looking on. Okay. Now uh, series can be created with list, with couples, with the arrays, with the dictionaries, with the vectors. Okay. So let's create it. Let's say A R R. Uh, S one I take. Uh, repeating N uh, simple vector I'm taking or you list call it as a list okay when I say s1 series 1 would be pd dot s e r i e s series of vector and I'll be printing s1 it will be giving 0 1 2 3 in that series and it has having a data type now you can look on to that what it exactly is a series function what exactly it works on so it has some initial signatures and some uh, parameters and you can go through this like uh, it has data which you need to write if you don't write you can just write other things here easily it has some index it has some retype and some names some copies and then fast paths right so Series are a one-dimensional ND array, that is your NumPy array, n-dimensional array with excess labels, okay, including the time series and rest you can go and through and you can learn things, okay. So data are the array like iterable dictionary values and whatever it could be, right, the index are there, the t types are there, copies and all and this is a sub series, type of a pandas, okay. All right, uh, going ahead. So, so you, what do you see here is 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3. Now you might be confused what's the left, right side, what the things are there here. So we will say that 0, 1, 2, 3 on the right side, what you are looking is your exact data, what you have printed 0, 1, 2, 3. And in the left hand side, what you see is your index values, sorry, are your index values, okay. So what we need to do is, uh, We need to change something. Let's say vector two. Or now this time I'll take an array. So for an array, I'll be importing the numpy. And that's it. Done. Oops. Done. Now we'll be taking a data two d two. I will be taking and that would be numpy dot an array. And that would be nearly to two, four, six, eight. And S2, I would be making a speedy dot series where my data would be S, uh, sorry, D2. And the first parameter I'm giving, making you learn, right? That is your data. So S2 looks something like this. That is your two, four, six, eight. Left hand side again, you could see zero, one, two, one, three. That is your index values, sorry, R index values. And on the right hand side, you can find your, find up your values, okay? Just a minute. Okay, just to charge. Yeah, fine. Okay, so these are the things. Uh, after this, uh, let us, just a minute. Yeah. Okay. So after this, you. Uh, let's say, So with the numpy arrays, we can make it through the dictionaries, we can make it through the list we have seen, right? So let's make a dictionary and we'll see the different different parameters also will be looking on. Like the most important parameters I'm saying on. So you see the data, you see the index. The so data you have seen, index will be looking on D type and name. Very important things, right? So the same thing here if I say a PD dot series of np dot random dot random okay so i give pd dot series of np dot random dot random 
and of five numbers if i say you so i'll get again the five different type of values over there right okay five different type of values will be getting it there let's do it okay so with the random functions now if you are increasing up the things with the data and all like if i write pd dot s e r e s series okay and the data would be now the sign np dot random dot again a random of some three numbers i'm taking okay now see guys in the left hand side what you are seeing as a index values you can change it even right so we can make index as equals as to be now based on you like whatever you are writing like if i write it as to be One, two, and three. I'll run this, and uh, let's run this. And we see like one, two, three as your index values. Okay. Now you can make it as an alphabet too. Like we can change it as uh, A B C dot split. One second. S P L I T. And you can run it to see up the data, right? To see up the things easily. So two parameters you have seen, right? That is your one is your uh, data. Next is your index. Now going ahead with this, you can see the name. Now this is a random series, so I will be giving it as a name, random series. So this has got a name that is your random series, right? And uh, what next was there? Uh, your data index name, man. Okay. You can also write D type. To be, uh, if I say np dot integers thirty two, so you'll be getting an integers. No, 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 no. The type needs to be changed. Random float values are there, right? So, okay. Uh, we'll let it be float sixty four. Yeah. Okay. Right. So this is how it works. Right. Easy. See these completions have been done. Right. Okay. Going ahead. <coughs> But the dictionary is also it is very easy to learn, right? Dictionaries would be creating it. Excuse me. So in the series you can add, subtract, a lot of things you can. The ranges you can find. Uh, like you can create a series of np dot some numbers from two to five, fifty. Oh, sorry, let me take two to five. Okay, like that. In the intervals of negative two. You complete the zero and intervals of two to four. Like that okay. these are the things. Okay. Or you can make shuffles to find some values from there. Okay, and you make it orders, maintaining orders like that. Okay, or if I make some usernames and all like name. Let's say uh, there is a dictionary of a name. Uh, let's say A, and uh, this name is. Uh, Series. Okay, I'm just writing over things. There's a series, and next name is B, which is having eight of names. Okay, so if I make a series, where I mean to say that the data would be equals to the name, and index would be equals to A and B. <coughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. You need not to do indexing here because it will be done because A and B has been given here, right? Because in the dictionaries, the you know like the indexing are basically the keys, right? And then you can get the values like if it is a series which is having a name of S four, S five, S six, whatever you give. I see X is equals to this and X six is equals to this. So X sorry S is sort values. Would be giving you the results of sorry, we did not to call this parentheses. Yeah, so series values are series and data frames, right? So slicing thing can go on to uh, have the things easily, right? So let's create some two random series. So R S one N P dot R S one would be P D dot a series of uh, N P dot random dot R A N D N 
of some five numbers and rs2 would be equals to pd dot series of np dot rndom dot rndn of some six numbers okay now we will be looking on that rs1 with something is numbers over there and rs2 would be having some numbers over there now if i say i need to add two series so i will be taking as pd dot uh, sorry rs1 dot add rs2 so you'll find the last one as a uh, blank one definitely you'll find this why because here let's say if you have some five options okay and next one is having six options now let's say the five to five options are similar now even if you say the sixth option even uh, if you say that you have a sixth option to use or if even if he is having a sixth option to use you don't have it right so whatever you do you cannot use the sixth option so you will not have any way to combine with the sixth and to do whatever you are going to do it right so fifth plus fifth it is gone right this is zero two five number of elements here zero one two three four five so zero one two three four right one two three four five here also one two three four five and six elements are there right so five till five it is done okay see one two three four five so till five it is done but in the sixth one there is nothing to be added right in rs2 you have only see in rs1 you have uh, five elements in rs3 you have six elements so five plus five has been done the last number in the next series is blind right or it is not even there so something plus nothing gives not a number gives nothing right so that is nan not a number Be clear right or you can say rs1 rs2 minus rs1 multiplication divisions and all every time you'll be getting the things right you say rs2 of 0 plus rs1 of 3 getting the results as it is okay so these are the things okay uh, moving on so in series these are the things what you can do and when you are working with some uh, droppings and all in a series so rs1 like if i need to drop the last element so i would say drop the minus one so method is not callable all right okay so drop the fourth element still it is not callable i think uh, something i have missed it and that is this again uh, is it having or not no it is, it is not having even so it is having till 4 only so rs1 dot drop off to done okay so operations i guess in series you are very much clear with the things index and data and all simple about okay not a numbers multiplication divisions and all can be done easily like you need to find the minimum maximum so you can say rs2 dot max same rs2 dot min rs2 dot uh, what to be done next like uh, minimum maximum median Sorry. parameters you need not take it. okay like that so I guess series are easy to write it okay uh, now inside a series there are something uh, with the blank datas or sometimes you call it as like uh, filling null values right like if i create a series of two or two to three numbers let's say pd dot uh, s8 is equals to pd dot series where i create data equals to np dot data equals to 1 2 3 np dot nan 4 5 6 np dot nan uh, what is the problem this is the problem sorry Uh, 
this one. Okay, okay. You can find some non numbers. If you need to uh, remove this, you can say S eight dot drop what drop and a null values. So see all the null values and be dropped. If you write like this, it will be dropped. Now, uh, in place of this, uh, just a minute. Yeah. In place of this, still in S8, you will find the null values. If you need to fill it, you will have to do S8 dot fill your NA. I say 3.5, 3.6. So all the null values are filled with 3.6. Okay. You can find 3.8 S in your S8 dot locate where it is equal equals to 3.6 it says okay it's too many. so s8 dot values none okay 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 here we can it so somewhere you get you can use S8 dot like this, or you can use looking. It's not working. Then. So giving some true and false results that exactly we want so here it will give you nothing because series values are equals to some uh, values like 1 2 3 9 4 5 6 9 right so we need to remove completely this nine. what you have to do is s8 dot drop this na and you need to write that in place you need to do as true so it is a, just a parameter where it does nothing right if you write false it, it, it will uh, return you the values okay and now in the S8 we will be having no null value. See 0, 1, 2, 4, 5, 6. So I guess you have understood how it works. Okay. Alright. Wait for some minutes. Okay. okay, yeah. So uh, let me come back to the directories of your series. So here, I guess everyone is compatible with the things whatever we have done. Any doubts to anyone? So if your S, uh, if your series, any series. If your series are having null values, uh, so S7, and you can check it how many null values are there. So it is having, and if you say the sum of that, it says that two null values are there. 
okay eh? two null values are there okay thanks now uh, you can have a graph of this also the la next module what you will be learning it after pandas completed so you can have a class uh, sorry graph of this is that So oh, it will be there. Just a minute. In consistent shape between the conditions, and it will got eight cross one and eight. Okay, we get why it is giving all right. Yes. Eight. Fine. That means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight elements are being counted. Null numbers two are being detected. Shape is eight cross. Okay. Shuman is asking, can you explain the in place function? In place function. Okay. Ah, uh, see. Why is it doing so big? What is that PD? So S8 has got C and S8 has got two numbers, sorry, two outputs that is 1.0 and NAN, NAN. Okay, now if I need to remove this NAN, if I need to see 
an output of removal of this name because in further what we are going to do we are going to deal with lot of large data sets and that will be having even some null values like if I give you some example um, like let's say Done. Like if you see on this data set, a very simple example is there. Like this is having a data set, okay? And this is a data set now. If you if I look onto the shape of this, now it has got some 891 rows and 15 columns, right? But there should be some null values also. Might be, not should be. Now if I if I need look to is null dot sum how many null values are there it will say me the cumulative sum that say age column is got 177 null values deck column is having 688 null values embark down has got two null values right like that okay so i'm not going to take this right now okay, fine now see so here in the our uh, s8 if i come to my s8 here if i need to get a print r here as an output of uh, some s8 without null nullities right so what i will say it that dot drop the null value that's it so i can see the update here that 1.0 is there okay and that is the uh, output without null value but still if i look that s8 is having a null value that means that you are only getting an output but what if you need to change it what if you need to remove the actual value of your null actual null value if you want to remove it you need to write in place right so drop an a and if i write in place is equals to true now this will give you none but if you check your s8 you will only see now 1.0 so in place basically works as a parameter like if you write true so whatever the functions you are doing like copying or uh, removing or filling or like making it something else right so whatever the function is going to be done it will complete the function and will return you nothing that is like none see none it returns none or nothing if you don't write print it will return you nothing basically it will just like it will run like r so, i have imported r why it is not working okay. okay, pi is it working no still no. so like if i say you have done right simpies and all so if i say something like s3 s1 something so it will just print it things right so in place if you write true it will complete the operation and will return you nothing but if it is false it will go through as it is okay i hope it is clear to you if you have doubts furthermore you will be looking on the more use of in place i'll be when i'll be making some two three projects you'll be looking on how it is going to work okay now so with this there are a lot of terms which comes here in the series like uh, see in this one you have seen a lot of uh, null values are there so we can look on to this using this graph what is that dft so you will get a graph right now so you can see that all these blue values which says one are having a graph which say that this, these are the null values and i can change it just a minute Put the letter of knobs. Those could work if it is. Uh, hello, sir. Yeah. So, what is DFT? EFT is a data frame of Titanic, what I have loaded here. 
this data frames would be discussing tomorrow so you'd learn tomorrow what exactly is a data frame okay and uh, what do you change that color will change the something you write okay a... those are color maps that is being learned in c uh, c bone okay uh, see if i make a wrong spelling you'll get all the color map names so oh, these are the color maps all these me write it so they all have a different color names so sir seabone is the package where we available the all the color and all the shape map uh basically see uh, like uh, just a minute so do you know matplotlib how it works this is this has got the same thing see like if we say uh, scipy scipy is a higher version of numpy okay the same thing uh, like you say css css is what higher version of html similar to that c1 is a higher version of matplotlib like to improve okay. the quality of your graphs and all the respective things we use c1 it's like very cool to like write the things there and get a graph immediately right so all these what you can see are basically having their own colors like if you go prism or you go ocean ocean color is like bit better it's bit so most of the times you have like own of your choice and every color had got a reverse of that so you can write reverse to get the reverse of that color so white light green and you can go with the earth just earth ice fire uh, something is where is that yellow one forgot in the name that is actually good where it is from r that is yeah vistia vistia is nice one like in the deep orange however this is also fine It's look like in orange and yellow it comes okay every color has got a reverse of there right and uh, like how exactly it is c1 is like a i'll upload a video you can go through the c1 over there how it has been made okay so like um, if i make some changes here i will show you Here, plot has got a parameter of DFI. Okay, see, uh, like how the graphs exactly you get in this uh, C one. So we'll be getting some graphs. What is that keyword name? See, this project we'll be doing right, Iris project. Like common too, but uh, if we use okay. KD is equals to scanner, but pair for the other than KD. Why? C 
different colors and you can write some palettes to like uh, see the different different species are having different different colors like setos are vergy color and all and these are the kds what you are looking on okay so again make it an, in the ocean what you just look like so now okay. and Line we can give it as ADE. And this time we'll be looking something else. See, so a lot of graphs can be made using SIBO. And why I suggest VCR always looks cool. What I say. So with the cool, there is also a graph for a school warm. Right? So when you will be de dealing towards the data frames tomorrow, you'll be understanding how it works, how thing goes, what are exactly this circle, circle lines and all these uh, these mountain like structures and all. So in in your projects, when you will be making it, you need to uh, write and you need to draw these things, right? So you need to understand. Tomorrow we'll be doing it like how you write. These diagonals, what you look on, these diagonals are like mountain like structures you are looking on there. So we can also change the diagonal kinds also, like diagonal kinds equals to now. So graphings are also important, like when you are going to the things. So if I say like histograms you want, so you can make it as a histogram. If you want KDE, you can make it as a KDE. So diagonal as KDE and kind, if I want to change, I can change it to something else, like the regression lines. If I want, so I can make it with regression lines. So this time we will be looking something else. Okay. Oh, come quickly. Regression lines actually make some changes. Okay. Because there are some points, not some points, every point come closer. See? So all the points will be coming closer to this line passing through exactly what there is a regression, right? So making you learn what exactly is. Right. And then the KDE formats, all you are getting in there. Okay, so like this, this works basically. Right, looking cool, right? It's looking good. Resu uh, reducing your data imbalance. Okay. So let's say uh, yeah, okay, this is I just one, right? So these are the things, right? Exactly. And a lot more in the series when you go through access are important, values are important, two less two things and changing in two different parameters are important in the series. So what someone is asking can we learn libraries that have been at using data imbalance. See, for data, you need to go with the right evaluation metrics and all. Nothing much, right? So, when pandas is just a thing where you have to learn all about your data, there is a such a thing where you can make your data wranglings, right? So, what you are asking is called as data wrangling, okay? So, sampling your data, training your data sets, okay? You have to take care of your uh, like over sampling or you can say like overfitting like those things are called or when algorithms if you are applying you can go with k fold cross validations or um, where you can go when you are distributing you can go with the equal ratios but that comes in the modeling structures so those are different things okay that will be covering well when we'll be going through the algorithms part will be going through the things okay all right so this is how this uh, data frames will be like more much uh, useful and important for you because there you'll be going with a lot of data sets like amazon data set netflix data set ipl data set and um, titanic data sets you know, iris data sets a lot of data sets are there ai data sets are there some face recognitions are there 
picture processing is there mm. sir we, we have learned that uh, uh, twitter uh, twitter extension mm, sorry twitter which one uh, twitter comment how to extract the twitter comment okay how does twitter identifies a correct and a, like wrong statements and all okay uh well that did i have to find off okay i'll find it today if i get it then we'll do that one batch i have got that where i have to look on where is the data if i got i'll will be doing that too, okay okay all right uh, uh, so let me finish the series let me so what things are left like uh, let me come to any series as well okay, say this S three, S two, S five. Anything is there? No. S seven. Having anything? Okay. Null. Null values are there. Yes. Okay. 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 So see, it returns nothing, right? S seven has got uh, things. Okay, fine. So like here uh, in the S seven, if I want to look onto the index values, I'll be looking at the index. And you'll be getting the things. These are your index values of 64 bits. Okay, and you can write s7 dot index dot the values like in an array if you want, and this can be converted in a list format too. Right, so you need to look over with that. Or if something inside is in your list, you can make it to your arrays. If if it is like inside a list, it is not inside a list right now because it is an array. Anyone wants to ask anything? Someone mic is on, I guess. Stop. All right. Okay. Um. Then to your different things, right? Like, like columns. Here you don't have any such different things, so you can go with the access to find the things that is only integers. That's it, right? When we'll go to the DFI, if you look on to the DFI, is a complete data set having a lot of things over there, right? So here you can go with the columns and also here these are the two. So you have columns, and you might be having index. I'm not sorry, not might be. It would be there. So you can find index over there, and to find index and columns at once, you can go with the DFI dot your access, and you can get the things at once, right? So all the columns and all, and the things what I was saying it to be the columns are two list, or you can make a set of all those things, to get the things and that. You need to exclude the negative. Get until minus one to all all the columns and the species are nothing but the DFI dot columns to list and then your negative one. So when you will be doing projects on the basis of all these, you will be predicting your species. So you need to learn a lot of things, right? So these are in the series. And you need to practice. So this is, I guess, very much new to you all. So you go through this today. Okay. Try to go through like. Uh, don't go through these graphs. Okay. Not even with the color maps. Don't try this right now. You need to understand like what is the series, what all the functions, and like is NA is unique. Okay. Plot, pop, power, product, quantile, rank. Don't go with all the functions like to array, to timestamp, transpose. You will find very much similar to the numpy errors also. View, where, variables, value counts, right? And for any of the, uh, uh, you know, like uh, the functions you are going through, if you uh, like want to learn what is pd dot where, so you just write it, put the parenthesis, and press shift plus tab. So it is not giving anything. Shift plus tab, no. Okay, like let's say if I, if it is num np dot where, so shift plus tab will give you something. Yeah. So where is giving you a condition x and y you need to write so it return you elements chosen from the x or y depending on your conditions. Okay, so these are the things given up. Okay. Now let me stop the recording.